All right, Pisces, what's up? I'm here to do a collective reading for you guys. It's going to be for Pisces placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Jupiter. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. Anybody sending any black magic? Huju, buju, juju towards me. Or my Pisces collective, please return that shit to sender spirit with the kids. Positive eyes only on this channel will be taken. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I hope that's not too loud in the background. Pisces. All right, so with that being said, let's get started. All right, let's take one card for you, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces energy for May 24th, 2022? May 24th and 25th. Let's do the next 48 hours. All right, May 24th and 25th, Pisces energy. Pisces energy, just one single card, please. Thank you. So we have the star. That's what I'm talking about. Busting out like bam. Okay. All right. Give me one for Pisces person. Person on Pisces mind. Can we get one card for them? Ooh. All right. So... Three swords showing itself, Son of Cups, Daughter of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and what is that? Seven of Swords? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, shit. Ten of Swords. I guess I could have read the Roman numeral, but damn. Shit's going right through his eyes. Okay, anyways, um... Yeah, so Eight of Swords. So your person's up in their head, worried about something. We've seen the Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups. This could be about a new beginning in love or an apology that needs to be made. Somebody here is feeling heartbroken. The Chariot, because somebody here is moving away. Um, we have two pages out here. Two children may be involved. All right, Pisces, let's see star card <clears throat> Damn. so the star standing outside on a dark night you gaze up into the stars and a sense glimmers of wonder and hope even though you can't find concrete answers to life's many questions up there in the sky you can't help but feel comforted and renewed such is the energy of the star card. It is not about actions or situations. It's simply about connecting to the part of you that is hopeful and serene. This force will bring light back into your life and infuse you with positivity. A loving card. So uh, very positive, hopeful energy here. Um, even though you may not have all the answers that you need, I feel like you're still hopeful that things, you know, will turn out in, in a good way. Then we have the Eight of Swords, trapped and powerless. Damn. Okay. For your person, surrounded by obstacles and threats on all sides, you find yourself the victim. You see no way out, no available choices. Your perceptions keep you from opening your wings and taking flight, which keeps you suspended here. Your keeps you. Okay. What keeps you suspended here? Yourself or others? The Eight of Swords demands an answer. You cannot hang here much longer. All right. So I'm feeling a little bit of a heavy energy from your person. So let's jump on into this and see what's going on with you, Pisces. And then we'll jump over to your person. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, please give me clarity and guidance. This is for the collective. Please remove any of my energy out of this reading. So the star card, Pisces. Why is the star here for Pisces overall energy?
the star for Pisces. Overall energy, please. Seven of Swords. Okay. Tell me more. Four of Cups. <clears throat> Two more. So I feel like somebody around you is being deceptive. They're, they're lying, cheating. There's a fox here as well. Somebody could be, you know, somebody here is being dishonest, disloyal. The lovers, Ten of Pentacles. This could be a family dynamic or within a relationship. And Queen of Wands could be a fire sign. We also have Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag here. Um, I'm going to put these back. Although I'm not taking all those. But all right. Two more, please. Why is the star card? I feel like somebody's being deceptive. You could be rejecting somebody's cup of love, Ace of Cups. Somebody may be, you know, lying about a love offer. Hmm, what is this? I feel like you may be rejecting something, but I feel like you're still hopeful. The star card can also talk about healing the full card, a new start, a new beginning in love. Aries energy is here. So... I feel like you're rejecting some type of deceitful energy. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords and your person has the Eight of Swords. So your person is trapped in fear. So possibly your person's being deceitful and you're, you're, you're looking towards new love. Ace of Cups. You want a brand new beginning in love. Okay. The full card. Taking a risk. Going towards, you know, sight unseen, jumping into new territories, having a new beginning in love, blessings coming in to your life. I'm getting moon manifestations as well because someone around you was being deceitful. This could be someone who rejected you or someone who you are rejecting, deciding to take other offers or look at other options. Okay. Show me Pisces person. Why are they the eight of swords? Pisces person, please. Judgment in the reverse. So somebody here, Scorpio energy, made a bad judgment call. Somebody maybe getting karma or just going through judgment. Somebody here did something that was... Uh... Really? Okay. High Priestess. Somebody may have secrets. Ooh, it is swords again. So somebody's definitely feeling stuck in Ten of Swords under that, y'all. Yikes. So Ten of Swords and Eight of Swords is also here in this other deck. So I feel like your person may be feeling betrayed, feeling trapped in fear, feeling stuck. We have the Ace of Cups showing itself twice as well. Somebody here, you know, made a bad judgment call to betray somebody and now they're feeling stuck. What are they feeling stuck in, High Priestess? There may be some secrets here, or some things that are not yet known, or Pisces, you may not know this, or somebody made a bad judgment call when it came to you. Somebody, you know, needs to use their intuition. Just seeing the devil in three of wands. Somebody's moving away from the devil, right? Or toxic energy, something, you know, that made them feel stuck, trapped, and bound. All right. Why is Pisces person the Eight of Swords? The Sun card could be a Leo. We have Pisces, Leo, Scorpio energy. Okay, somebody's feeling stuck here. But the sun is here. So there will be happiness or some type of illumination about something. Something's going to be illuminated here. About somebody being stuck. Somebody making a bad judgment call. Somebody has secrets. All right, so I'm going to clarify these. Six of Cups. This is someone from your past whom you possibly share children with. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. And the emperor, yeah, this is a child's father or, or an authoritative figure. And then go, there's a strength card, Leo energy, seven of swords. You're blocking this energy out, deciding to end something, the death card, to have some type of rebirth. Sorry about that, guys. Scorpio energy is here again, strong. Somebody's feeling left out in the cold. Oh my gosh. From a marriage in the tower again. There's heavy Scorpio here in Queen of Swords. Somebody's cutting somebody out. They're giving up in a situation. That's you, Pisces, Queen of Cups. You're giving up and, and waiting for your ships to come in. All right. So whatever the case is, you're... I feel like there's a lot of secrecy here.
You may be somebody who's in the public eye as well with the star card, Pisces. All right. <laughs> you are too much. Oh, my God. Pisces. Let's clarify this. This reading is resonating, y'all. Please hit that thumbs up button for me. It helps me out a lot and helps this video get circulated out to other people who need to view this video. All right, so. All right, why is the Seven of Swords here? Two of Cups on the bottom. So you're dealing with a relationship. This is about a relationship or a soulmate. I feel like I already said that. Seven of Swords. Somebody lied about a relationship. Seven of Swords. Somebody lied about a relationship. Okay, the Tower. Something came crumbling down. Somebody, something came as a shock. Something was built on fault, faulty foundation. Um, the Tower card, again, Scorpio energy, heavy Scorpio. Leo, Aries, and Pisces energies here. All right. Somebody's having a Tower moment due to some type of deception. Two of Wands about a choice that was made or a path that needs to, you know. Somebody's... <sighs> And the lovers in the reverse. Something here is over because somebody's deception, because somebody's deceptive. Okay, there's a relationship that is over. Gemini energy, Scorpio's here because of someone's deception, period. Can't be any more blatant than that. What is the Four of Cups, please? What is the Four of Cups? The Six of Cups, your past. You're rejecting somebody from your past, possibly, again, someone who you have children with. Four of Cups, Six of Cups is Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups speaks to family. All right. This is, you know, past energies. You're rejecting, rejecting, or there's a missed opportunity here. There's a missed opportunity because of someone's fucking lies. All right. Whatever. All right. Show me that Ace of Cups. Five of Pentacles. You're leaving something out in the cold. Five of Pentacles deciding to look towards new love and have a new beginning. You have some type of... Okay, you could have an emperor coming towards you. Again, Aries energy, the Ace of Cups, the Fool card. You may be deciding to take a new leap of faith. Have, you know, or an Aries may be coming towards you. This is Aries energy. This is also Aries energy. Page of Pentacles can speak about an opportunity, a message being sent, somebody taking charge, taking authority, taking a leadership role. This is a good father. This is somebody who um, gets shit done, all right? Don't talk about it. Be about it, all right? You're deciding to have a new beginning in love. Take that leap of faith. Make some type of a risk, okay? I feel like somebody was juggling you. Somebody was lying, cheating, stealing. Somebody was in a relationship, but I honestly feel like that is over. There's a tower here, and there's two of wands right in between that. So somebody has a choice to make about which direction they want to go. Either way, to be quite honest, it doesn't look great i don't feel like it's you i feel like it's this deceptive because that's what we were clarifying whoever was being deceptive here has a choice to make either go towards a relationship that is dead or go towards the tower pick one okay either way something here is being left out in the cold so somebody can have a new beginning in life a new beginning in life okay i was about to say a new beginning in love but a new beginning in life came out so maybe you're just having some type of a blessing a new beginning in life okay all right you could have an emperor, a boss, a child's father, but I feel like somebody's going to be sending you some type of a message, something that you're going to like with this page of pentacles, um, emperor, somebody's going to take an initiative, take a leadership role here, take some type of risk. This could also be somebody who is a parent or a single parent. All right. Page of pentacles with the emperor. This could be somebody with Earth in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. All right, let's move to your person. What is this bad judgment called? What is why is judgment in the reverse for Pisces person, please? Somebody could have also misjudged you, Pisces, with this judgment in the reverse and this um, high priestess. Okay, you could be you know, someone who's very intuitive or somebody here needs to. You could also be dealing with somebody who's very intuitive, but... I don't know if they were listening to their intuition because they made some. Okay, no, I feel like somebody made a bad judgment call when it came to you, Pisces. Okay, that's what it says, literally. 
Somebody misjudged you. All right. <clears throat> Bad judgment called the moon, keeping secrets, hiding their feelings, fears of the unknown. Somebody here is fearing the unknown. What is this bad judgment called the Ace of Swords? Some type of truth and clarity came out sideways. It's like somebody here gave you half truth. Somebody possibly lied about a relationship, okay? They didn't tell you. They didn't. They, they were hiding something. The Moon card and the Ace of Swords, they were hiding the truth. <clears throat> they were hiding the truth, Pisces, okay? This person may have been being a snake. They could have been dealing with snakes. Give me one more on this truth. In this moon, there's still something that is not yet known about the full truth here. Okay. Um, the world card. Something here was unsuccessful. Somebody doesn't want a cycle to close out. This could be somebody at a distance, or this could be emotional distance, or there may be travel in between the two of you. There's also somebody here who is hiding their emotions. Okay. Keeping their distance, but they don't want a cycle to close out. This person may actually come give you some type of truth about whatever was hidden. I don't necessarily see that. I see somebody made a bad judgment call and they misjudged you, misrepresented you. All right. Show me the high priestess. Seven of pentacles. Okay. So somebody here, you, you there's secrets. The high priestess can also talk about secrets. So you have a lot of secrets. This person has a lot of secrets. A lot of fucking secrets. The High Priestess is secrets. The Moon card is secrets. They're also major arcanas, okay? And that what is hidden is the truth. Ace of Swords. Somebody here is feeling stuck because of a bad judgment call. They misjudged you, you know, possibly about where they were investing into. Seven of Pentacles or about investments or time, energy, effort. Something here has been going on for a long time or somebody's put in a long time. Seven months, seven years, something to that nature. Okay. Somebody may also be fucking hiding money. All right. Good grief. All right. So High Priestess, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles talks about your stocks, your investments. Um, seeds well planted. Okay. Somebody here is hiding investments, hiding money. Pentacles can talk about money. All right. Show me the Eight of Swords. They have the Eight of Swords twice. So this person is definitely feeling... Trapped and bound in a mental prison, but it's a self-imposed prison, Ace of Wands. So they're feeling trapped when it comes to a new passionate beginning, or what is this? Eight of Swords, please. Five of Cups. They're sad. They're in regret, feeling ashamed. Eight of Cups for walking away, or maybe because somebody is walking away. Eight of Cups. Five of Cups. Somebody here is in their fucking emotions, up in their head about having a new passionate new start with somebody here. Okay, show me the sun. What is the sun? We do have clarity with the Ace of Swords and the Sun card coming out. And we also have secrets. So there's hella secrets, but there's also something that's about to come to the light. Okay? And Wheel of Fortune. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. So again, we have fixed sign energy strong. You may be dealing with one. The World card is also fixed energy. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, <laughs> uh, yeah, Scorpio Leo. Okay, show me the wheel. Knight of Cups. Somebody here. Somebody may want to come in and express love. Could be this Leo energy. Doesn't have to be. But somebody wants to come in and give you an apology. Express some type of an emotion. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Um. Something here is faded. Something here is destiny. Something's meant to happen. Somebody here is lying. Oh, All right. Page of Cups. Somebody is playing mind games. If you have children with this person, this person's using children to manipulate a situation to keep a cycle open, wheel in the upright. Okay, because we have the Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. This could be like a middle-aged child as well. Five of Swords. Somebody is playing mind games, um, gossiping, slandering. What is this Five of Swords when it comes to children? Somebody here is using children. Ten of Cups. It's a family dynamic. Okay. And Nine of Pentacles. This person is dragging their feet when it comes to offering anything stable. They're trying to slow you down. The devil. Yeah. They're fucking trying to slow you down. Okay. Capricorn energy. Seven of Cups. They want you confused. Okay. They want to create conflict and drama in your life. Why? Or there could be another water sign trying to do this. 
This could be somebody who's married to a sword's judgment. Scorpio. Okay. With Capricorn in their chart. Somebody here is... Somebody's trying to keep a Ten of Cups from happening. We have the Ten of Cups coming out sideways. What are these mind games? It's Ten of Cups and the Devil coming out sideways. It's like somebody who is trying to keep somebody stuck in some type of family dynamic, but it looks like unrequited love, or this person just doesn't offer. I don't see, like, any king. Well, I have the Emperor out here, but this could be this new love, okay? This this full card, Ace of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Emperor. Somebody here is going to come in and offer a helping hand, okay? And this person's a boss. This person is somebody who got their shit together. It could very well be an Aries, does not have to be. But you have somebody else over here who's coming in with this page of cups, this pa this knight of cups, because they're feeling sad and regret because somebody's walking away from a situation. But again, it's like the knight of pentacles. There's no like king energy or like, you know, Somebody, somebody's trying to keep somebody trapped and bound in a toxic family dynamic, okay? By playing fucking mind games and foolery and using someone's kids against them. Thank you. All right. This is someone who possibly has money. Okay. But they're keeping it from you, right? There's secrets around wherever they're invested into. This person has a lot of secrets, but I feel like you're going to get some type of clarity from whatever this is. There could also be some type of communication coming in, but somebody here is feeling trapped and bound in a self-imposed prison. They put themselves there because of a bad judgment they bad judgment call that they made to keep secrets and betray somebody and hide shit from someone. Okay, this person is manipulative. I'm gonna just say that. Seven of Swords is here. Again, you're you're rejecting this offer because somebody is deceitful. Somebody has two ways to go, and it's like the lovers reversed and the tower. Some, and I don't feel like that's you. I feel like you're leaving something out in the cold. Going towards an emperor, towards a new beginning over here. You're rejecting this person from the past who you possibly share children with. And you're hopeful of new beginnings. Y'all heard me read the star card. Okay, let's get three cards. What is this past person? Give me, give me two cards for the past person. From the Romance Angels, please. Two cards for the past person. Codependency. My deck was in the reverse. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So again, I feel like this past person is trying to come back. But I feel like you may reject this person. Because this person's fucking... They're a liar. You got five of swords. They're jealous. They're jealous. They're a liar. They're a cheat. They're a con. Okay. They keep a bunch of secrets. They made a bad judgment call and now they're feeling stuck in a situation. They're codependent on something and now they want to reconcile with you. All right. Let's keep going. Show me the new person coming into Pisces life. Show me the new person coming into Pisces life. Oops. Show me the new person coming into Pisces life. Thank you. We have playfulness, recapture romance, allow your inner, inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Ooh, that was hard to get out. And free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. So I feel like you're taking back control of your life. You're freeing yourself from the situation. All right. And you're, you're being playful. You're open to new love. All right. Recapturing romance, your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay. So... Your self-love is attracting new love in. That's what's going on here. You're freeing yourself from this situation. You're being a fucking magical unicorn that you are. And retreat, it is time to disconnect from the world. So you may be taking a step back from people, right, at this time. Pisces, that's what I have for you. If it resonates, please let me know. Subscribe to the channel. If you guys would like a personal reading, I do have time. Um, info is in the description box. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.